Let's do some politics now. It's been a long-running battle between the Electoral Commission and the Opposition National Democratic Congress with accusations and counter-accusations, press conferences and counter-press conferences. Now, the NDC says they have had enough and will now take their case of alleged voter fraud to the police. At a news conference today, General Secretary of the party, Johnson Esidi Nketiah, provided circumstances leading to the discovery of extra one million ballot papers. On 20th November 2020, the waste material for Inolink printing press were destroyed under the supervision of the EC and security agencies in the presence of party agents who duly signed the certificate of disposal, dated 20th of November 2020. Subsequently, the plates with which the printing is done were also destroyed on 25th November 2020. And representatives of EC, InnoLink, political parties, and the security agencies duly signed the certificate of disposal and we are given copies. It stands to reason that by that date, all waste material had been destroyed. However, when the printed ballots at Inulink were transported to Ashanti region on 22nd of November 2020, it was discovered that there was a problem with the ballots of Afija Kwabri South constituency. And therefore, the ballot booklets were returned for reprinting. Afija Kwabre, I want to believe, is the constituency for the uh, National Security Minister. I believe so. Upon their return to Inolink Printing Press on 25th November, our agents went there to supervise the reprinting of the ballot papers of the said constituency and discovered, to their dismay, boxes of ballot papers concealed in one of the offices. When they caused the boxes to be opened, they were found to contain excess presidential ballot papers for Ashanti region. Alarmed by what they saw, they filmed the ballots and inquired from the supervisors what those ballots were meant for. I believe the picture will show because it was the hand of God that sent us back to Inulink for us to discover that these are ballot booklets. All these things printed and start somewhere in one of their rooms. When confronted, the supervisors at Inulink gave all manner of incoherent answers. One claimed that it was backup. Backup meaning that when the ballot papers run out in Ashanti region, they will still come and have some <laughs> to go and add. The other lady in charge of the binary claimed that they were meant for runoff. <laughs> so they knew the presidential election was going to go into a runoff, so they must print the ballot papers in advance. Now, Johnson has indicated a challenge the IGP to probe their claims and resolve what he believes to be more serious crimes that characterize the 2020 ele elections. With these facts and unimpeachable evidence before you, the NDC has no other choice than to accept the challenge by the Electoral Commission that the police will investigate the allegation of the printing of over one million excess ballot papers. We are, going to, we are going a step further to lodge an official complaint with the police and to provide them with the evidence and assistance to investigate the matter to unravel the truth for all Ghanaians to see. We take note with satisfaction of Bosman Asare's call on Ghana's police service to investigate the facts put out by President Mahama. Given that President Mahama was on solid ground when making this statement, the NDC stands ever prepared to assist in any credible investigation into the matters raised.
The NDC also raised concern with the posturing of the Electoral Commission, describing it as arrogant, disrespectful and unprofessional. As Eddie Ketia had some strong words, particularly for Deputy Chairman of the EC, Dr. Bosman Asari, who addressed the EC press conference on Monday. The National Democratic Congress as a party is deeply concerned about the conduct and posturing of the Electoral Commission as an institution of state whose actions are subject to the Constitution and for that matter have subscribed to their oath of office to act in the best interests of the people of Ghana. These officers are also paid by the taxpayer and the activities of the Commission itself are financed by sale. Our worry, ladies and gentlemen, is premised on the arrogant, disrespectful, and unprofessional manner in which officers of the Electoral Commission, including the highest echelons, have been addressing the people of Ghana in recent times. In this instance case, the post-sharing, choice of words, demeanor, and temperament of Bosman Asari are, to say the least, unacceptable. For a man who has been privileged to occupy such an elevated office, one would have thought he would exude the sober aura of a thoughtful and reflective academic who has been given the opportunity to occupy such a high office, even if under controversial circumstances. Unfortunately, this is not what we have foreseen on, and that is not what we have been seeing with the EC in recent times. What we witnessed on Monday smacks of a typical MPP party full soldier who was given a statement from the party headquarters or Jubilee House to read to the press.